guys, welcome to another class of natural science with me, with teacher Elena. So, today is Monday, 4th of May, 2020, okay? Remember that we are in May, we are not in April anymore, okay? Be careful with the dates. So, in the last class, we started explaining the plant's reproduction, okay? Remember that the plants have to reproduce because they are living things, living things, seres vivos, okay? They are living things like humans and like animals. We are all living things and we all reproduce, okay? Then, uh, in plant reproduction, we can find two types of reproduction, sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Sexual, asexual, okay? Sexual reproduction is found in two types of plants angiosperms and gymnosperms. So angiosperms and gymnosperms do sexual reproduction. And asexual reproduction is found in two types of plants, flowering plants and non-flowering plants. Be careful and don't get confused. Not only because these type of plants are called flowering plants, means that they are the only plants that have flowers. That's not true. Angiosperms have flowers, gymnosperms have flowers, flowering plants obviously have flowers, and non-flowering plants is the only type of plant that don't have flowers, okay? So, the other day we explained the angiosperms, today we are going to explain the gymnosperms, and then in the next lesson I will explain you both flowering and non-flowering plants, okay, because they are very easy, so I'm going to explain them all together. So, let's see what we remember about angiosperms. Okay, let's remember a bit of angiosperms. Remember that angiosperms re develop seeds inside fruits. That means that they reproduce by developing seeds, semillas, inside fruits. For example, an apple. If you open an apple, you can see seeds inside. Well, apple, apples come from angiosperms uh, plants, okay? The, the apple tree, the manfano, is an angiosperm, okay? Then in angiosperms, we can find two very, very important parts the male organ and the female organ. The male organ is called stamen, the female organ is called pistil. The pistil has the stigma, the stilo, and the ovary. And the stamen has anthers and filaments. Remember that the anthers produce pollen. And the ovaries produce ovules. And when the wind or the, the insects takes the pollen from the anthers to the, the pistil and it joins the ovules, that's when fertilization happens and the plant starts developing the seeds. The seed is the ovules together with the pollen and the fruit is the ovary, okay? The ovary grows and turns into a fruit. Okay, let's see what we learn about gymnosperms. Remember, because this is very important, because these are the main differences between the angiosperms and the gymnosperms. The angiosperms develop seeds inside fruits, and the gymnosperms, we will see. The angiosperms have a male organ called stamen and a female organ called pistil, and the gymnosperms, we will see. Okay, let's see what your book says about it. Okay, so here we are. So uh, in gymnosperms, we are uh, on page 58, okay? And uh, we are in plant reproduction. Remember that we are in sexual plant reproduction. The other day, we studied the angiosperm reproduction and today the other type of sexual reproduction, that is the gymnosperms reproduction, okay? Let's read your book. I'm here, it says, Gymnosperms reproduce by developing seeds inside cones. They develop seeds inside cones. And the angiosperms? The angiosperms develop seeds inside fruits. And the gymnosperms develop seeds inside 
cones. I will explain you what is a cone, don't worry. Then it says, the wind blows pollen from the male cones into the female cones. This is when pollination occurs. So if we see the picture, we have the male cone here and the female cone here. That's different from the angiosperms because in the angiosperms we had the male organ that was the stamen and the female organ that was the pistil. And in the gymnosperms we have the male cone and the female cone. They are different, okay? So, um, sorry, we continue. <laughs> The pollen joins the ovules inside the female cones. That is the same, okay? Because inside the female cones, we have ovules, same as in gymnosperms. Inside the, the pistil, we have the ovules too, okay? Pollen joins the ovules inside the female cones and fertilization occurs. Seeds begin to develop. So this is the same. The, the, the pollen from the male cones gets together with the ovule from the female cone and that is called fertilization, exactly the same as in angiosperms. In angiosperms, the pollen from the anthers gets together with the ovule that is in the pistil and that is fertilization too. Okay, fertilization is in both type of plants, both in angiosperms and in gymnosperms. Fertilization happens when the pollen joins an ovule. The difference is that in the angiosperm, the pollen and the ovule are in one part, and in the angiosperms, the pollen and the ovule are in a different part, okay? The last part, we are here. The cone opens when it's mature, mature, maduro, okay? Seeds fall to the ground, they fall to the ground where they can grow into new plants. The same as in gymnosperms, okay? In gymnosperms, with the fruit is mature, it falls to the ground, it opens, and the seeds fall to the ground where a new plant can grow. And in gymnosperms, it's the same. When the cone, the female cone, is mature, it falls to the ground, it opens, the seeds fall, and then we can have a new plant. I'm going to show you a cone. This is a female cone, a mature cone. It's mature because it's open. If it's not mature, it's closed. And you will say, teacher, that's not a cone, that's a piña. Well, of course, it's a piña, okay, from a pine tree. But it's a cone. It's the same. If you see the picture in your book, it is the same. The seeds are inside and you will say, teacher, inside a piña, there are no seeds, there are piñones. That's the idea. The piñones are the seeds of the male cone, okay? So if you're eating piñones, it's like you're eating the, um, well, the babies of the, of the gymnosperms, okay? Sort of, but it's not that bad. Okay, so this is a female cone when it's mature. It fell to the ground and I took it, okay? So this is a cone. This is a gymnosperm female cone. This is the female organ of a gymnosperm, okay? So, let's review. Look in your book. We have the male cones. We have the female cones. The male cones have pollen. The female cones have ovules. The, the wind or the animals take the pollen from the male, cone, male cones to the female cones, and when the ovule and the the ovule from the female cone and the pollen from the male cone get together, that is fertilization. And that creates a seed, semilla, seed. And when the cone, the female cone is mature, maduro, it opens, it falls, and then the seeds go in the ground and we can have new plants, okay? So that is, that is gymnosperms. As you can see, it's very easy because it's very similar to angiosperms. The differences, remember, is that in the angiosperms we have a pistil and in the gymnosperms we have a female cone. And in the angiosperms we have a stamen and in the gymnosperms we have a male cone. 
And in the angiosperms, the seeds reproduce inside a fruit, and in the gymnosperms, the seed reproduce inside a cone. Okay? Those are the differences. But that's it. That's it. So I hope you have understood more or less. Remember that pollination in both angiosperms and gymnosperms is when the wind or the animals take the pollen from the male organ to the female organ, to, from the male organ to the female organ. That is pollination. And fertilization is when the pollen joins the ovule and creates the seed. That's it, okay? That's it. Okay, I hope you have understood more or less the lesson. Remember that I think tomorrow you have to make, you have to answer some questions about this. Um, they are very easy, okay? But if you have any question, remember, you can leave comments here under the video. You can give me, you can leave me some comments. You can also ask me through the you or I can call you, okay? And on Thursday, when we do the video call, you can also ask me questions about this, okay? Goodbye, I love you. Bye, see you in the next video.